You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angela Whitmire. This plant portrait is for blue-eyed grass, Cicerynchium angustifolium. The first time we tend to notice blue-eyed grass is when it begins blooming in the spring. Different species of this genus grow throughout North America. One field guide states, the various Cicerynchium are all much alike. Separation is based on such characteristics as branching pattern and leaf length. Flower buds develop from bracts midway along a flower stalk or at the tip of a flower stalk. The covering sepals are the same color as the petals inside the flower bud. This flower is unfurling its sepals and petals. Here's the same flower from above. This image shows three opening flowers and a number of fully blooming blue-eyed grass flowers. This single blossom grows at the end of a flower stalk. Let's look at some more of these small flowers in peak bloom. A bit of a side view of the flower. The small flower is only one half inch across. Initially, the flower's reproductive parts in the center are closely entwined. The stamens begin expanding and separating from each other. Each flower's three sepals and three petals look exactly alike. Therefore, they are referred to as tepals. Observe how each blue-eyed grass tepal has a pointed tip. The stamens have bright yellow pollen-covered anthers. The thin pistil emerges from the center of the stamens. The yellow center of the blue-eyed grass flower consists of the yellow anthers and a yellow pattern at the base of each tepal. This side view shows the stigma with some pollen on it hovering just above the anthers. Back up just a little bit, observe how the flower's ovary is below the six tepals. The flower grows at the end of a peduncle, which arises from a pair of bracts, also called a spathe. See how the sun shines down into the flower and makes the yellow center glow. And there are tiny hairs on the flower's exterior and on the green ovary. This spathe had four flowers, each with a short stem or peduncle. After blooming and becoming fertilized, the tepals begin to curl inward. Notice the bright green ovary below the dying tepals. This photo captures the dead anthers as well as the dead tepals. These blue-eyed grass flower stalks have fresh blossoms, dying flowers, and new seed capsules. The fertilized ovary is now a maturing seed capsule. The different sizes of seed capsules indicate varying stages of seed development. Each seed capsule grows at the end of a peduncle, with one or more seed capsules growing from a spathe. This image gives a sense of the size of the flowers and seed capsules. When the seeds have fully developed, the seed capsule looks like a round ball. Now the seed capsule begins to change color from green to a light yellow to a light brown. Eventually, during summer, the seed capsules turn dark brown. Blue-eyed grass leaves grow in clumps from the base of the plant. Leaves are narrow, flat, and smooth. The leaves begin growing in an equitant arrangement, just like irises. They are usually shorter than the similar-looking flower stalk. What is fascinating about blue-eyed grass is that it is an iris, not a grass, even though the leaves have a grass-like shape. You can see how this is actually a very small iris by looking carefully at the leaves and how the plant develops bracts along the length as well as at the tip of a flower stalk. Flowers then grow from each set of bracts, 
the same way other iris flowers grow. Once again, let's back up a bit to see the overall plant. Here it is in early spring. It's in full bloom in late spring and is already developing some seed capsules. In early summer, the plant is covered in spherical seed capsules. By midsummer, the seed capsules are mature and dark brown. Like other irises, blue-eyed grass keeps a few green leaves during the winter while other leaves die back. Each clump of green leaves is surrounded with the prior year's dead leaves. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Cicerynchium and Gustafolium, also known as blue-eyed grass. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of blue-eyed grass, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.